couple of months ago, a decision was made for our club to have a hybrid meeting. Some of our folks will be remote. Some of our folks will be local. Jonathan Superior and I said, okay, we're gonna grab that bull by the horns. We're gonna wrestle him into workability. <laughs> Mostly we, I think, have succeeded. But after much research, we were able to come up with a list of parts and some bits and some bobs that all seem to work together. Mother Earth hasn't been real great at giving us many bits and bobs that were useful. Our first crack at doing this job took place at Jonathan's place. It went pretty good. Mostly a success. Some bumps, sure. But what do you expect on pass number one? We learned some lessons and some fine operational suggestions from our club members, which we incorporated. Our next attempt to get control of this critter, number two, was much better, but still had some rough patches. For this attempt, Jonathan and I had the help of Shantanu as we set up the room and got it working so that we could actually hold a meeting. Our last attempt, not this one, the last one, was again highlight some areas that needed working on, and that will be incorporated into this meeting. We're now in our fourth meeting, and we know what works, mostly. <laughs> Still some bumps, but each time they become fewer and smaller. After all, that's the Toastmaster way. Try it. They didn't work. They didn't work the issues, make corrections, and move forward. Well, tonight I am going to go into more detail about what is needed and what it does. Now, this is not to say this is the only way to set up a hybrid meeting. Just that this is the way that we are currently doing it. We've got, what, 12 people in the room tonight? If you all went off and did a hybrid meeting yourself, you'd probably set it up a different way. Maybe not, but maybe. It is most important that the meeting space have a fairly strong internet connection. Either hardwired or Wi-Fi because you need to get the Zoom in order for a Zoom meeting to work. Wi-Fi is preferred as it is operationally a bit more flexible, even though not always as capable as a hardware connection. It's a technical thing because Wi-Fi is more shared, so if you get too many people using Wi-Fi, you get slower response. And it's also slower than hardwired. I mean, you're going to get some re response delays there, too. So as to the hardware and why that stuff is needed, for the Fun Club, we use two laptops. This one, which is our main one. This is the one I'm talking to those folks on. And it controls the main camera, the speakers, and the hard speakers so that you guys can hear what's going on out there. Now, given the vagrancies of these wireless speakers, I also have a wired speaker that in case we need it, it will have it when we can use it. So one of our operational considerations from the last meeting, thank you, Kim, because it died on her and we had no way to get around that. <laughs> Laptop number two is used primarily as a camera. That's this one over here. I don't, yeah. Yeah, can you people see it? It's in the, in the screen there. It's right here. That's it, right there. That's <laughs> laptop number two. Its primary function is to be the host computer for the camera that's looking at the room. That's its primary function. 
And we also have a camera on me. This one here has a 70 degree field of view, small. The one looking at the room is 140. That's why it looks so much bigger. Most camcorders or webcams are 70 degree. Most dash cams, which is what that one is over there, are 140 degrees. Because you want to see out the whole window and see when somebody crashes into you. So that's why I'm using that one over there at 170 degrees. Then there are the necessary power cables and the cables that connect the camera back to the PC and from the camera over to the projector, which the projector is used so that we can see you folks out in the field and you can be part of our virtual meeting. Do you feel virtual? Do you look virtual? <laughs> okay. Any questions? Uh, where to ask start? No? All right, then. Good. So in closing, because we're running out of time, as we start to have more of these in-person hybrid meetings, we need to keep our remote members engaged because we have gotten quite a few of them. <clears throat> we've got Tracy who's way out in the sticks somewhere. We've got, we got Leah who's up in the northern part of uh, above Boston. So we, you know, we're spread around a bit. So this means we're going to have hybrid meetings. The club needs to decide how we will achieve that going forward. Jonathan and I will not always be available to set this up. So the club needs to make more members involved and all aspects of the hybrid meeting space need to be taken care of. Madam Toastmaster.